Hi again. Hi again. We back guys. We wanted to do a fun little video. Top five things that we wish we knew before we started growing autos. Cause now we've been doing them for a while. We've, what do you think? Four, five harvests under our belt? Total okay. since we started? How many have we done? Since the garage say, days. Well, I mean, now I'm doing pretty much one every month. Yeah, definitely chopping plants so, every I month. So, I mean, it's, it's hard to say how many have under my belt yeah but we've got a fairly good amount so we're yeah, getting I'm some learning experience some things, and for we, sure. yeah we came up with kind of five things that we wish we would have known before we started diving yeah, before, into it or just new growers number one less is more yeah um a lot of people think like the more newts you give to it obviously the plant's gonna do way better right yeah wrong <laughs> less is more learn to read the plants and that's really something you can't rush it's just it comes with learning to grow so you know don't beat yourself up when you make a mistake you know but in starting out where we found less is more because it's easy to correct if you did a little too little Agreed. you can add some but if you overdo sometimes it's just more of a problem yeah and that leads us to number two um yeah in auto specifically uh we found that um once once you see an issue it's probably a little too late to completely correct it you just have if to you're kinda... yeah if you're running dry amendments only which we we are at the at this moment yeah um so if you're doing any kind of dry amendments especially with autos because they grow so fast um we have found that if you're seeing any kind of deficiency in the plant at that point in time, if you're seeing it, you're already playing catch up. Yeah, yep. especially if you're using dry release amendments where you're mixing it in your soil and top dressing, like after you mix it in, it's a week mm -hmm. until they get something. So if you've mixed it in and then you start to see stuff or if you're waiting and you're not sure yeah. and you see a sign and you top dress some, you know, it's already a week until it's actually gonna be able to get to those nutrients. So compost teas, things like that to, you know, we're learning to adjust. So something to think about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about number three? Number three, Captain Captain Autoflower, 84 out the door for autos. Yep. Uh, we have found that if you're going any longer than 84 days with an autoflower plant, no matter how big of a pot you're using, yeah. it, it's that's the end of the line. 84 days is seems to be the most mature that the plant is going to get um, for what you're you're wanting to get out of it. Yeah. And there's, wise, yeah. there's always special cases. Like sometimes you'll see a plant and you're like, you know, it needs just a little bit longer. But in general, we feel like for autos doing in soil, yeah. like we're doing with the dry amendments, it's about 84 days uh, for it to get done start to finish. So well, in a lot of places um, where a lot of seed banks will say, right. well, autos only take nine weeks um and i say nine weeks is definitely on the shorter end of the spectrum yeah if you're doing like a one gallon pot or something yeah and that's i mean and that's if you're having like a small the smallest of small grow spaces yeah nine weeks i could see it happening yeah but for the most part we don't see them ready being by yeah it's usually 12 days. weeks but it all works out perfectly especially with our perpetual situation mm -hmm. where with the 12 12 week time total grow once we start it, we can be chopping autos every single every month. month yep. So we just start four plants every month. Every and then month. every month we're chopping four down. So <laughs> it fun. all works perfectly <laughs> for us in our situation. Everybody a little different, but in general, 84 days is about as long as we're going to let an auto go, unless it's kind of a special case mm -hmm. scenario. Yeah. But number four, number four, when, when to train and how, and this is kind of our personal, from what we found with our method, this is kind of our personal training and what we do with auto. So definitely not the end all be all guys, but how we like to do it at least day 25, 20, 20 to 25 range. We cut the bottom two nodes usually because yep. mm -hmm. they never really seem to branch out or do much on auto. So very soon, soon in its life, cut those bottom two nodes wait a couple of days, maybe day 28 to 30. If we're gonna top it, that's when we're gonna top it. And we're only gonna top once. Cause we tried multi tops. We tried a lot of topping with autos. If you've seen yeah. well, in the we grow tried, videos. We tried a lot of things yeah, with autos. We've done some crazy stuff. And um, I don't wanna say like, I wish I would have known that before growing autos, but I wish I would have known the best ways to train autos. Cause people are like, nope, you set it and forget it with autos. And you can, I, and, which is a method for some people. But if you, if, 
if you want the most out of your plant, I find that training, um, training it, you're gonna get the most. Yeah, food. we find if autos are performing well and they're excelling, just to try and keep the canopy even, I like to top it. I usually, if I'm gonna do it, it's usually when it has five nodes and then wait for it to get a little longer so you have a, a little piece of stem sticking up and then top that. Because if you top it too close, it'll make, sometimes the top will split. Mm -hmm. where, where you top it if you don't give it enough little extra. So around day 30, if I'm gonna top it, that's yeah. when I top it. And then I have five nodes and you can clock those branches out. If you guys have seen how we do the training with the stakes, it's a little different when the tie I downs. I will say though, when you do like top that. an auto flower, which a lot of people will say, don't even do it. Um, but I will say if you do it early enough in the plant's life, like he's saying, but around that fifth node, yeah it won't have much an effect on the, I want to say. It can recover. It gives yeah, it, it enough time lot, to yeah. recover quickly and it won't stress it too hard. So that's kind of what we do day. But if 20. you go any farther, um, I would say I could see it stressing the plant out a yeah. little bit. So um, if you don't hit that window, yeah, if you guys are super it. bomb growers, you know, we're still learning, but <laughs> I'm sure people can do it with good results for us. What we found, if we want to get the most yields, Agreed. usually a single top and you can train it out evenly. So we sometimes runaway yeah. plants that's shooting up real tall. I'll do that. So that way I don't have to figure out some kind yeah. of crazy light adjustment. So more than one top even. isn't necessary though. I don't yeah, say for autos. Cause they don't, they really don't get that big. Although I've seen some deep water culture with people who are just like massive. I've <laughs> seen some, you yeah, know, uh, insanities, but we're, we're not at that level. And most people home growing watching this are probably, very talented. yeah, <laughs> we're trying to be talented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're getting there. We're learning. So we'll, but we'll get there. I find like, um, topping autos and we'll just go into it um with number five and, and just saying that genetics on autos are just wild cards. wild card yeah so that's what we've noticed even though we've tried a couple different uh seed companies now and you know you can pop a white widow from this person and a white widow from that person and chances are they're probably gonna be completely different and every seed you pop is usually you know we've actually had seeds from the same company um, wildly different very different last grow video check out the lsd the comparison of the buds from mine to the comparison and even more of buds recently from, uh, that was from the same order same pack so you more know. recently the purple kush you had one mine is very different from your pur pur purple kush so yeah. um and they were from the exact same pack so um yeah. Genetics are wild cards when it comes to autos but that's but that's kind of part of the auto game so we know Photos, way more stable genetics, way more consistent results. We, we understand that, but we still love the autos fast turnaround. And in general, they always turn out pretty good. You know, sometimes you get a foxtaily bud one. Sometimes you'll get a leafier or fluffier bud one, like the wedding cake I did. Still super duper yeah. frosty, yeah, still good. smelled great, smelled amazing. Just the buds weren't as dense as the plant right next to it, you know, so. But I will say with autos also, I'm gonna probably slip another one in here. I've learned a lot more with doing autos than I would feel like I would do with photos just because there is so much change and there is so much to pay attention to. Yeah. So I feel like as a grower in growing autos, I have almost like propelled the process of yeah. growing. And here, so, here's, and learning. here's a plus six for you guys. Saw on Photo Syntex live stream last night. He's actually gonna be on ours tonight. So by the time you guys watch this, you can watch the live stream that we'll have done with him. But awesome grower, awesome on YouTube. Check him out guys. But get an evaporative dehumidifier if we're gonna use one. I'm an ultrasonic one. And what it does is if your water, if you don't have a water softener or purifier in your house, it, the minerals in the water will then become like a dust when it, when it vaporizes in a, um, at the first, humidifier. I thought it so was it, mildew. Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, mildew, but it's just, it's just dust from the hard water and it gets, uh, it's not harmful to the plants. It's not, it's just unsightly though and it gets all over. So evaporated humidifier, <laughs> get one of those because I'm about to get one of those to fix that issue that I've been seeing with the, the one that I have. So that's a, that's a bonus one for you guys. But thanks so much for watching. <laughs> thanks check us, guys. Yeah, check us out on Instagram. Give us a follow. We have all kinds of behind the scenes stuff. Join our new channel memberships. We have exclusive content, videos, early access to videos, live chat emojis. We have a Discord you guys can jump on. We're the growing tips. You can drop us pictures of your plants. Coming up soon, we're gonna have the Heigen Cup. So we're gonna do a 16 ounce auto challenge. Um, so stay tuned guys, we're gonna make an official video and that's gonna be a really fun one. And we're so excited. But thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.